The highly anticipated horror films that are coming out for this year. Um, this is... We're, I'm going to be talking about some of the upcoming horror movies that are coming out for the rest of 2011. And some movies are coming out in the beginning of 2012. Um, some of the movies that I'm kind of interested in seeing because, you know... As we all know, September, October, we're getting into the Halloween season. That's where some of the great horror films or the, I shouldn't say great, or I should say more anticipated horror films that are coming out and trying to catch the attention of young viewers. Um, one of the movies that's coming out is uh, Shark Night, which is coming out this weekend. Uh... I, I saw the trailer for it. It looks pretty interesting. You know, Catherine, Catherine McPhee's in this movie, so hopefully the shark will eat her fucking head off because she she cute. she's very cute. She's a good singer, but it's always interesting to see, like, creatures eat up popular people that we know or recognize. So, you know, as always, it's a, gr a group of friends are spending the weekend at a Lakeshore house, and they come across, they they are stuck in the island and they're surrounded by hungry sharks. So you know, you know, rather interesting. You know, the the poster for it looks really really cool. So you know, where it looks like the shark has a big mouth. I mean, you know, if you like movies like Open Water, it kind of looks like that feel to it. But for the most part, I'll check it out. It looks very interesting. I'm going to take a pass on a movie, uh, Hellraiser Revelations, uh, because they're trying to do like a Blair Witch type of story to that. It looks, It sucks, and plus, they don't have the original actors playing in Hellraiser, so I'll take a fucking pass on that. Um, there's also uh, Straw Dogs. That looks very interesting. You know, that's the remake to Dustin Hoffman's film. Uh basically uh that looks pretty you know that looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie on you you know i like the trailer for it you know definitely i don't really think it's a horror film but you know for the most part i'll check the film out it looks pretty good chrome skull laid to rest mm, you know i'm i will check that out for video i've read some reviews on it some people said that the first movie laid to rest was better than this movie but you know Danielle Harris, she kind of ruined the film, and, you know, they had some really, you know, Brian Austin Green, some people felt that they had, like, really bad actors, but the guy who played Chrome Skull, of course, he gives a brilliant performance, but you know something, I will check out the film, because I love the first film, I just hope that, you know, it's not true what the critics are saying, but you never know, so, you know, I guess everybody has different tastes in movies, but I will talk about that film when it comes out, and I'll be honest about whether the movie is good. Because I like the poster for it, because it looks really cool. And I thought that Chrome Skull was probably the most original character I've seen since all the horror movies are being done in remakes. Um, let's see. Some of the other future films that are coming out, like, I'm definitely excited about seeing three films in the middle of October and they come out around my birthday and the movies are The Thing which is the prequel to the popular 1982 version they're not really doing the remake of Kurt Russell's film they're, do they're doing a story about uh, the Norwegian story of it those who've seen the movie The Thing remember uh, how the, uh, the thing basically got to where it was so, for the most part, very interested in seeing that film. I hope that, you know, the gore is, the gore is very good, and I hope that the storyline is very good. I don't know who's doing the special effects. I don't know if Rob Botton is doing the special effects, or they got the uh, the KMB boys. I know they're not the uh, KMB group effect anymore, but, you know, I, I had heard, like, you know, it may be one of them that, that's doing the story, but... You know, for the most part, you know, if it's true, I just hope that they make the story and the the gore interesting. Because what made the thing so good was was that the special effects really took its uh, t really made it spectacular, 
and that's what this movie has to do so I'm going to give the movie a fair chance, you know. I hope that there's some surprises in this. I hope that Kurt Russell's in it. It'd be kind of cool to see some of the old, uh, some of the actors that were in the first one in this one. But, you know, you never know until we see the film. So, very interested in the thing, definitely, coming out on October 14th. Then in October 19th, uh, I don't know what's going on with this because they keep changing it up. Is this movie Red State? Now, Red State is basically uh, Kevin Smith's first. I I wouldn't really call a horror movie more like a thriller, but they put it under horror or whatever. But you know, this is one of his uh, highly anticipated films that came out. Uh, it's come going to be coming out on October nineteenth. Now, it originally was supposed to come out for DVD, but you know, I don't know, Kevin Smith is all over the world with this, so I don't know if it's going to be out for DVD first, and then going to put it in a movie, or they're going to put it in the movies, and then DVD, you know, however they're going to do this, a lot of people have said this movie is really, really good, and that they took a different turn, like basically, you know, Kevin Smith with a different way, like he's not doing the J.M. Silent Bob, you know, New Jersey Chronicle world, this is like something... 300% different than what he's doing and some people have even said that this film might be nominated for an Academy Award because it was that good and John Goodman basically stole the show in Red State so rather interesting I, I can't wait to check the film out because you know it's interesting to see if Kevin Smith can do a quote unquote horror film then uh Paranormal Activity 3 is another anticipating film that continues the success of Paranormal Activity movies because they've been making hundreds of millions of dollars and they're finally doing the third saga where it deals with basically now we're going back even further where the two uh, where the two main stars of the films of the Paranormal Activity were dealing with them when they were kids so now we're going to the origin of the story where how it all began and how they sold their souls to be rich you know we're gonna go to that genre I know that you know a lot of people probably said oh god not another one but they really are they are really very good stories but you know hopefully you know at the three I don't know how far back you can go with this story but you know what you know, hopefully three will be the final one, but it looks like to be a very interesting story. And you know, those are probably the three that I'm most excited to see. Then uh, some of the other films that are coming out later on this year, like the Twilight Saga, we're coming to the final ending of this chapter. It's called Breaking Dawn Part One. This is where uh, Edward and um, Bella finally get married and this is apparently supposed to be the most violent one I don't know if they're gonna make it as violent in this story but this is the one where Bella has a baby and you know she finally gets married to the man of her dreams and they're supposed to be having this big wedding and of course Jacob gets pissed off and you know it's interesting to see how the story ends because I've been following this story you know Hopefully, you know, we get to, we get to have a very interesting ending, but yes, the Twilight movies are coming to an end. I'm sure that all the Twilight fans will be sleeping at the theaters in this cold November 18th month. You know, I, you know, a lot of people are dedicated to that stuff. I mean, they will, you know, their Twilight fans, they will be out there sleeping, you know, trying to get their tickets to go see the first show. So... I'm rather interested to see how this comes to an end, but it won't come to an end until, I believe, in the summer of 2012, so around July, August, so yes, uh, Twilight is coming to an end, and some of the other films that they have lined up here, like Cabin in the Woods is supposed to be coming out, uh, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, uh, let's see, we have, uh, uh, Ghost Rider Spirits, uh, Spirits of, uh, Vengeance, 
The Women in Black, uh, we have Amityville Horror, The Lost Tapes, The Darkest Hour, Piranha 3DD, I said, boy, check that one out. Hopefully, you know, it'll be gory like the last Piranha film because I actually like that one. But, you know, the most interesting film that was coming out was a film that John Cusack is doing called The Raven, which uh, stars, um, he stars in this film about uh, Edgar Allan Poe who teams up with a detective to search for a serial killer who kidnaps Poe's fiance and then he goes on a killing spree mimicking Poe's work. So I thought that was rather interesting that story is because it's like, you know, it's kind of like in that lines of uh, Sherlock Holmes that Robert Downey Jr. is doing, you know, kind of a dark, dark tale that's being done. But I'm definitely going to check that one out as well. But that one comes out in March 9th, 2012. So these are just, <clears throat> excuse me, these are just some of the films that are coming out in the world of horror movies. You know, tell me what horror movies do you think you're excited about? You know, I would love to know your opinions on it. For the most part, you know, October's horror, horror films, they don't have that many. Just the three that I mentioned. But for the most part, you know, definitely going to see The Thing, Red State, and Paranormal Activity. Those are the most exciting of all. But, you know... All in all, you know, waiting to see Walking Dead on TV, see how that show comes about. But, you know, definitely, you know, horror movies, you know, they're, they're kind of slow this year. You know, some of them, there's some good picks, but, you know, definitely The Thing, Walking, The Walking Dead on TV, which is coming out on October 16th. Then I'm going to definitely check out Red State, and I'm going to check out Paranormal Activity, so... And also Shark Night. Those are going to be like my top picks. Tell me which horror films you're interested in seeing. And let me know if there's any good ones to check out. Otherwise, take care of yourself and enjoy your night.